guys and girls? I'm Miguel Sanchez. Welcome to episode 362 of Logo History. And today, we're entering a world of Mexican cuisine. Because in this episode, we're about to dig into some funny, good times, and a great time that you're sure to love. So, be prepared for it, guys. It's co time. Welcome <coughs> to Logo History, episode 362. This time, we're going to take a look at Chipotle Mexican Grill. As our restaurant marathon continues, our second restaurant marathon continues today here at Local History with only 38 episodes left this season. Guys. Mm. We're going to see it's absolutely amazing and you're about to try to believe it. Uh, if you haven't seen episode 361, it was about Jimmy John's that sells delicious sandwiches. Yeah, the best gourmet sandwiches, so please go and watch it right now. Mm. Link to that video will be on the top right corner screen. Go watch it right now. See for yourself. In the meantime, let's jump right in. Are you ready? Then let's begin. First, images are taking a low P. Critical to everyone. All these images do not belong to me. Don't tell anybody else. Keep that in mind. Images are taking a low P. Critical to everyone. Now we're out of the way. Let's get started. Here's the survivor for those of you who don't know what Chipotle Mexican Grill is. Chipotle Mexican Grill Incorporated. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle, often, sim often known simply as Chipotle, is an American chain of fast casual restaurants in the United States. United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, and France specializing in tacos and mission burritos that are made in order in front that are made to order in front of the customer. Its name derives from Chipotle, the Nahuatl name for a smoked and dry jalapeno chili pepper. The company trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker under the ticker symbol CMG. Chipotle is one of the first chains of fast casual dining establishments. Competitors in the fast casual Mexican market include. Cudoba Mexican Grill, Mo Samuels Grill, Rubio's Coastal Grill, and Baja Fresh. And yes, Cudoba Mexican Grill is Cudoba Mexican 8, I mean to say. It was on episode 354 of the series, so please go ahead and watch it right now. As for the rest, there will be in future episodes, please stay tuned. Battle by Steve Ells on, on July 13th, 1993. Chipotle had 60 restaurants, all in Colorado. And McDonald's Corporation became a major investor in 1998. By the time McDonald's fully divested itself from Chipotle in 2006, the chain had grown to over 500 locations. With more than 2,000 locations, Chipotle has a net income of 475.6 US dollars, yeah, 475.6 million US dollars, and a staff of more than 45,000 employees in 2015. If you want to get, get the local history about McDonald's, go check out episode 4 of Local History 2, where we're going to talk about McDonald's. I'm Lost Tomorrow Entertainment, Burger King, Wendy's, Play Doh, Toys R Us, WTW, WYCT, and PBS. So please go watch it right now. Uh, in, May to, in May 2018, Chipotle announced the relocation of their corporate headquarters to Newport Beach, California, in Southern California, ending their relationship with Denver after 25 years. Oh my gosh, what you're about to see is absolutely amazing. I can't wait! Man, I can't wait for this. But yeah, moving on to this year, uh, restaurant named Chipotle Mexican Grill, that industry is fast casual, found on July 13, 1993, their founder is Steve Ells, headquarters are in Newport Beach, California, US. They did not have a slogan, website www.chipotle.com. Link in the description below. Go, 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 go check it out right now. In the meantime, let's dive right in. Are you ready? Here we go. The logo, the logo history of Chipotle Mexican Grill. 1993-2009, we just took the word Chipotle, Mexican, and Grill in Dorkery Tech. The word Chipotle is an unknown font. So, yeah, that's all my fans. Here's our other version. If I like 2019 to present, we just have a uh, brown rounded square. And inside it, there's a white chili pepper. And on it, there's a uh, white swirly shape. Yeah, I know. That's all the chili pepper. Gross. Ooh, Chipotle. <laughs> Love it. On the right, the uh, shape. Oh, um, uh, yeah. On the right, the square, there's a dark red, round red rectangle inside this word Chipotle in white text. And under the rectangle, there are words Mexican and grill in brown text. <sighs> yeah, that's all it is. Here's the very and the same as that very, but without the yellow border between you know, between the ring and the circle. So, yeah, now you know. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. It's all over. Thank you for watching another episode of Logo History. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. We'll see you on Movie History, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and Motion Monsters by Green later on today. So, don't miss out. In the meantime, please don't forget to leave a like on the video, share with your friends, leave a comment down below, and please don't forget to subscribe with notifications on today. Best another new video from us. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'm because that's just you result. I will see you tomorrow on. Logo history. We'll be back. We'll be back to continue our first one marathon tomorrow with episode 363 as we take a look at Outback Steakhouse. Yes, my friends, we're going Australian this time, people. Yeah, because Aussie rules. All right, Mike? Gosh, you better be. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for episode 363 as we take a look at Outback Steakhouse. Don't miss out, my friends. Oh, man. You can't believe, guys. All right. Till next time. Till next time, mates. I'm Miguel Sanchez for Logo History. And we'll see you on Movie History, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and Motion Monsters Biography. And on today, I'm Miguel Sanchez for Logo History. Until tomorrow, guys. 
And until tomorrow, mates, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video. Good night, mates. Latest.